how are you? Okay, tonight I just want to um, cover something that I had discussed earlier with a client of mine. So I was discussing with a client of mine how we needed to improve her sleep and how she could improve her sleep quality um, for, of course, her optimal weight loss, which she's after, and as well as optimum health. So sleep plays a big part. And you know, if you follow me, you will have read my articles on sleep. You know, if you talk to me or follow my videos, um, that sleep is one of my main components for being healthy and having good weight loss basically so what I include would be movement, um, sleep, nutrition, uh, stress management and self-care so they would be my main um, areas that I would work on with a client when they're looking for weight loss or optimum health but really quickly just to cover um, the easiest ways on how you can optimize your sleep quality and this is so important because our sleep obviously plays a big part on our weight loss, our metabolism, our hormone levels, especially our stress levels, how we function on day to day. Sleep plays a big part on our brain function and our memory so how well we take things in and remember them and how well our brain processes them and of course uh, sleep is huge and if you're trying to build muscle uh, because that's when we release our human growth hormone and that's when our body does um, the majority of the repairs that it needs so we actually gain and repair when we're asleep so uh, enough of that on to your quick ways of improving your quality so uh, one you're going to try and start winding down uh, for the evening between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. so when mel melatonin starts to rise and cortisol starts to lower we're going to start to chill out basically start to relax um, you winding down have a nice cup of chamomile tea close the curtains just really take it easy uh, that will in that will aid with a good sleep quality so good night's sleep of quality then uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to put a plant in our room so a nice green plant in your room is going to filter the air and keep the air circulating so you're getting fresh oxygen as you're sleeping we're also going to keep our window open or a fan on whichever it depends on the time of the year um, just to keep the room cool because cooler rooms have been proven to um, um, improve sleep quality so next we're going to make the room as dark as we can so if you can get blackout shades or you can get blackout material and just hang it over your current um, blinds or shades or whatever you have that will work um, because our skin actually absorbs light so even though your eyes are closed and you may have um, one of them eye masks on your skin is actually still absorbing light which is affecting how you're sleeping so that is another one um, the next would be um, you're going to put any phones or anything electrical outside your room so this eliminates any excess uh, radio waves or frequency in the room that might be interrupting your sleep and you may not know it so you're not on your phone but still all this frequency and radio waves are still in your room and you're still getting affected by them so we're going to put any phones or anything outside your room and that's not a big deal putting your alarm outside your bedroom fine get up in the morning switch it off um, then next another one I wanted to point out was with um, what Apple have done with their new iOS updates so um, if you have an iPhone uh, one of the newest iOS updates has actually introduced an option for night shift so um, Ideally, we want to be turning off any phones or computers 90 minutes before we go to bed. But some nights, that's not feasible. Some nights, we've got extra work on our plate. Some nights, maybe a client will contact late in the evening. Maybe there's a dilemma and you need to be on your phone. Um, so, with the new iOS, what it does is, if you go into night shift... On the phone it's going to block out the blue light and change the coloring of the light so blue light affects us and affects how quickly we fall asleep and our quality of sleep so if we turn on night shift which is quite easy so um, I'm gonna try and get it so you can see it so on your iPhone what you're going to do is you're going to swipe upwards 
and you will see right in the middle at the bottom you can't really see right in the middle at the bottom see this middle one if you press that it's going to go into night shift so when you go into night shift it gives you the options to set a time on how long you want to be in night shift and uh, you'll see the lighting will change so it takes out the blue light so it's a blue light blocker basically uh, so if you need to still use your phone in the evenings you can see right now you can't see my phone because the lighting coming in the window but you can see all the blue light has gone off my phone now so um, that's giving my eyes a chance to calm down as well and then if you don't have that on your phone or your laptop or your kindle or whatever you can also go onto amazon and you can buy blue light blocker glasses and they are pretty cheap so um, have a look out for them so there are just a few tips um, for winding down and getting a good night's sleep so um, they're very easy to do very affordable just things that you can take on board and make sure that you're doing every night so you get a better quality of sleep um, which will of course will improve your daily function your weight loss and uh, your health overall so I hope that was helpful because I'm trying to spread the word on what you can do to optimize your health um, for more ways than just exercise and nutrition of course they both play a big part in what I teach but I'm trying to touch on other stuff just to give you some more tools along the way uh, that you can use for the rest of your life okay have a great evening or night if you're here in Alberta um, and then a great day tomorrow okay bye